All right, ladies and gents. This is for the adults, adults. You have to be over 30 to get with this. Or at least over 18. Okay. At least over 18. So, these are called over 30 dirty questions for the holidays. Grab your favorite little drink. This is iced coffee with a little caramel. Okay. All drizzled on the cup. I done been drinking it down. But you can spike it with a little bit of liquor. Don't be afraid. <laughs> Don't be afraid. So, before we get into the questions, let me shout out my girl, Trina, from Exclusively Yours. I am wearing her jewelry right now all right super cute super cute it doesn't tarnish or anything it's still giving off that blingy bling bling it matches my top yes so let's jump into the questions all right so these are for questions for the holidays for when you're with your boo so if you're with your boo i'm gonna leave the link in the bio to the questions and you can do a question or question and action meaning you can ask a freaky question and it can lead to some action or you can ask a freaky question they may not want to answer it you take a shot <laughs> you take a shot and that still leads to some freaky actions so it's the holidays y'all booze up it's cold outside you want to do some fun activities tap into it so here's the thing we're going to get into the first question i'm gonna try to do i'm trying to do 10 10 questions and answers all right so the first question is what is your favorite place to be massaged my favorite place to be massaged is my feet. I love a good foot massage. Oh my goodness. I love a good foot massage. And I also love my shoulders to be rubbed. Once upon a time, I worked around a couple people. And you know how people come up behind you and they do like one of these numbers, you know, thinking they're doing you a favor. Don't do that with me because... That's a sexual thing for me, for me. So don't even try to rub on my shoulders or my lower back unless you want to get fucked. <laughs> so the next question is, what is your sexiest scene from a movie? Sexiest scene from a movie for me for me it's the more you can see the better so if i can see a little something that's good for me even when i watch porn i get sick of them solely focused on the women i got breasts i got butt it's more than men watching tv and watching porn we like to see some Women like to see some things. So, for me, I'm going to go ahead and say the last movie that I watched, which was last night, I watched Sex in the City, the movie, the first one. I watched it a million and one times, but it still never ceased to, like, <laughs> it's the best source of entertainment for me. When Samantha was on the beach and she, and the, she had her little dog and her dog ran up the steps. <laughs> ran up the steps to the guy that she had been watching out of her window from afar for so long and this man is outside <laughs> he's outside showering and pretty much he's naked but if you pay close attention and i mean close 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 attention you can peep his whole shlong hanging honey hanging Oh Lord, and I've seen some. I have seen some. But that 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 fella, he he could get it. Question number three. Do you have any fetishes? Do I have a fetish?
if that was liquor, I would be drunk by, by now. Yes, I have a fetish. Um, I choose not to let you guys know. <laughs> but do know it's something... It is something that involves men and it's something that I love. If you know, then you know me. So question number four, have you ever had a one night stand? Yes, yes, I've had a one night stand. I'm not scared to answer that. I've actually initiated a one night stand, you know, once upon a time. Like I knew that that's what I was looking for. I was bold enough to follow through with it. And I've had a one night stand. Now, I have had one night stands and didn't plan on it being a one night stand, but I did initiate a one night stand once upon a time. So maybe a few times in my life. Now, number five, what's the weirdest place you've ever done it? the weirdest place I've ever done it. I've done it in a lot of weird places, primarily because once upon a time, that you know how every woman has that, <clears throat> allergies, every woman has that time in their life where, a woman or man, where you go back home. You know, you stay with your family or whatever the case is, but they have their rules, which is crazy. That's why you get that, that motivation to get up out of there. But I, have found myself in situations where I wanted to do what I wanted to do. I didn't necessarily want to go to that person's home or I probably had to be to work the next day and it would have been an inconvenience, but I still wanted to do what I had to do. I've done anything. A car. I would say that's, that's, that's not crazy, but it's it, when you're my size and you doing it in a little hoopty, honey, it's crazy. You have to be a fucking acrobat. You have to make your arm go this way, your leg go that way. So yes, that's a that's a that's a weird place. Now I have you know dropped it low in the outdoors and stuff like that. Um, but that's that's for another time. So question number six: Do you like it when someone pulls your hair? <laughs> okay, so as you know, when I wear my units, I tack them down with um, some thread or whatever. I'll tack them down on two sides, and I also have my got to be, and I don't mind if you pull it because I, I know it's not going to fall off. Now, I've had, had a situation where... I've had like long braids or whatever. And for some reason, this one guy I used to work with, he was so infatuated when I had got these braids because you, I'm over the top. So the braids that I had was damn near like mid thigh length. Like they were long, long, long. This was back when it, it still happens. I'm 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 obsessed. I'm a hair girl. So I had these long braids. I'm at work and every time I walked past him, he was just like, ooh, ooh, you know, like his mouth was just watering. And I'm like, hey, what's up? So I don't think he was necessarily into plus plus type of girls, but baby, them braids did it for him. He was like, girl, I just wanna take you in the you know, in the little stock room and just pull on them braids from the back. <laughs> Baby, we never followed through with it. But the conversation enough was a bit steamy. It was steamy. So <laughs> question number seven. Question number seven. Where is the naughtiest place you have done it? The naughtiest place. Is that the same Oh, the weirdest place. So the weirdest place was, yeah, in a car because it's awkward and you got to keep bloop, 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 bloop. The naughtiest place that I have ever done it. I'm going to take a sip because some things I'm disrespectful. I don't mean to be disrespectful, but when I get down and dirty... 
So question number eight. We moving quickly. Question number eight. Do you get amorous in the morning or evening? Amor, amorous? Am I saying that right? Hey Siri, pause. Okay, so the question is amorous. Do I get a feeling of amorousness in the morning? Feeling like I have to, you know, snack on something? Bounce on something? Do I feel like that in the morning? No. Um, <laughs> when I was with my ex or previous lovers or however... Yeah, they used to wake me up with a little something or they used to want a little something in the morning time. But I'm going to be quite honest, if it wasn't for the fact of me just being a pleaser for who I was with, I'm not a morning person. Now, after I shower, get dressed, maybe get done what I need to get done, maybe I'm a, a late afternoon person definitely a night owl but first thing in the morning i don't have to do it but um i will if need be but you know what you wouldn't you you'll be tired out with me come early morning because child we done we would have been done touched all corners of the bed like, oh, <coughs> late at night honey because that's just how it is i've been in situations where i have made love to a person for over four or five hours like we may have literally like a 15 minute break at the most but we can find different ways to just be passionate with one another for a very long time it's true you can't have sex that long so let me see what is the next question question number nine what are you best at in bed? What I'm best at, you know, I want to, you know, I want to finish this drink because I don't want to be too, too, too much. But um, listen, though carbs, I'm not supposed to be eating carbs like that. And corn is considered a carb and I'm not supposed to be eating corn on the cob listen I can that's that's child they come back every time it's like crazy and the crazy thing is a lot of guys say they're not into oral sex or they can't come off of oral sex no lie every person i've ever dealt with has 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 reached has reached their moment with me they have been like awakened <laughs> so um yeah Question number 10 is, have you ever done it outside? I've already answered that in the previous question. So, of course, yes. So, we're going to go to question number, we're going to skip question number 11. Yeah, we're going to skip question 11 and go to 12 because we didn't answer 10 or 11. And we're going to close it out. So question number 12, what do you think about dirty talk? Okay. And then we're going to finish. It's so many other questions. This is super fun for me. I'm a Scorpio, so it's super fun. So question number 12 which was what do you think about dirty talk dirty talk to me uh, uh. <laughs> i'm trying to think um 
I would say I like it at like a 20%. 80% no. Because a lot of times I fill people out before I ever do anything with them. So we can be having conversation via phone call, via text. And it can get steamy. And I don't know, after a while, it's kind of like, who can say the freakiest thing to get somebody to send like a a, a sex type of text? Um, it's fun, maybe the first go round. But once you're in a relationship, dirty talk is kind of forceful. It is. Because at this point, you already know people's little spots you know so you just say what what you know they want to hear basically because you know what's going to get them to where they need to be now for me um i like the bitch word every now and again like oh um you my bitch or whatever every now and again but it's so crazy that i like that every now and again because i literally do not like for men to call me a bitch outside of that you call me a bitch outside of that i will break up with you <laughs> because i think it's so disrespectful um but that's why i say it's only every now and again like you have to actually put it into the context of that because you just can't say bitch get on your knees like no no i really will want you to be like um you my you my lady you my you my you, you my bitch. And I'll be like, ooh. <laughs> ooh. <laughs> you gotta say it. You gotta talk nice to me. Um, But another thing that I have learned that I like is just you telling me how good it is and being genuine with it. Like, like, you can be, like, a hard-up type of dude, like, real hard-up, and suddenly you just, like, you just turn to, a, like, you can't, you can't do, you can't keep that tough, per, you can't keep that toughness no more. Like, suddenly you in it, and you just, like, oh, my God, like, I'm so glad you gave this to me. This is the softest place on earth. Like, I like that type of stuff because it shows your appreciation because it's not all the time that I receive appreciation like people say to me like oh I like just in the in the regular walking life of work and family and friends it's not all the time that I receive that type of appreciation or hear it out of someone's mouth so once I give you this if I give you this I'm giving you this I basically I would love for it to be like damn Damn, I appreciate you. You know, so that's dirty talk to me. Just you saying those type of words. So, yeah. <laughs> but let me know how y'all like videos like this. This was fun for me. Like, you know, a lot of girls are doing stuff. And they just, I love watching all of my girls on YouTube. I love watching all of you It is exhausting doing Vlogmas and then watching all of the girls that I love to watch doing vlogmas oh my god last night between last night and between the first day of vlogmas and the second day of vlogmas i literally tired myself out just watching the girls talk and do their thing and decorate their house and make make do their little errands and their little self-care stuff oh my god but sometimes not all the time some people do the same stuff, so I wanted to switch it up. So it is Freaky Friday, um, definitely a holiday Freaky Friday. Let me finish this. Mm. Damn, that's good. So y'all go ahead and tap into the link that I'm going to put in the bio so y'all can pretty much ask some questions to your partner or someone that you're interested in invite them over for a glass of wine how about no, listen if you don't know the person 
don't invite them over for a glass of wine but what you can do you can go out you can go to a bar you can sit you can sit have a little early lunch because it's early today i'm on time ain't i i'm <laughs> early and ask the questions that you want to ask sip drink and get to know that person on a whole nother level and then later down the line apply pressure with the knowledge that you know honey apply that pressure but i love y'all peace and until next time